Stop! When I say giveaway, I mean I'll be giving away an iPhone 14 Pro to a close friend in this video. Not to a random stranger on the internet! If you want a free iPhone, get a job! Yeah! No more Android! <laughs> yeah, no more Android! Alright, we got the... I probably shouldn't be so loud so I won't be robbed. But we got the phones! Now we're trying to find a safe place to unbox these on video without getting robbed. Oh yeah, that's a little area. All right, our own private unboxing area. Oh, this is heavy. Professional setup. Let's do our watches first, the Series 8. I got the Series 8 Midnight Aluminum Case 45 millimeters, so the large one. Wow, beautiful pattern. Yeah, that's weird. There's a price tag there yeah, for the Yeah, there's a price band. tag on the on the band. I guess they were having stock shortages, so they were just like, <laughs> they were just like well, unsold bands, package it with the watch. Oh yeah, there's a price tag on my band box too, so they took unsold stock and packaged it together to call it a final product. The original one. And there's the band. Wow, there it is. Charger, here we go. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> There's mine. Let me put on the band. This bottom part won't click in. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> mine is already turning on because I accidentally turned it on. Let me put it on my wrist. And here is mine compared to my Series 4 small size. Look at how my arm bends. <laughs> All right, I unboxed it and put it on my wrist. And now I'm going to put it back in the box and return it because I bought it just for content and also so I can make that joke to the Apple Store employee. 2838. Can I get a discount on the watch since I'm not going to use the period tracking? No. Aww. And yes, I'm going to return it to a different Apple store today. Yeah, I would have kept it if they had any of the small sizes in stock for walk-ins, but they didn't. So yeah, this is going to be returned. And also I'm going to see if I can exchange it for a new MagSafe leather wallet case. Because yeah, I want my new phone experience to feel fresh, and this is not fresh. Oh, that is darker. I got a cramp. Apple Watch Series 8 unboxing completed. Yep. We're going to be unboxing. We're actually in front of the Apple store right now. We just wanted to unbox these as fast as possible because we I had to sit down. <laughs> All right, iPhone. iPhone. That wasn't as satisfying as the other one. Yeah, I missed the plastic wrap. Damn, you're already Ooh, doing it? You're already doing beautiful. it? beautiful. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to count down with you. That is beautiful. Oh wow, yeah, I really do like the purple. At first I didn't like the purple because I thought it would look too purple, but actually it looks more grayish to it be honest. Look, it does look more gray, yeah. So yeah, right now I'm happy with this color. Three, two, one. Look at that. Look at that pill cut look out Look at right that. There. <laughs> and I'm prepared. I already have the clear case from Apple ready to go. Protection already. <laughs> I like mine to be protected because you never know what could happen to it. Activate your eSIM during your iPhone setup. So yeah. Ah, future, future. Three, two, two one. wait on one. Okay, never mind. Go. Okay, mine's We're powering on. on. Yes. Yeah, I get a, I'll get it at a different Apple Ooh. store since I embarrassed myself at the other one. My last Pro iPhone was the iPhone 11 Pro. Then it was the 12 Mini. Then the 13 Mini. And now I'm back to the Pro. Look at that cutout. Mmm. Dynamic Island. <laughs> I'm gonna do a piece. Ready? Three, two, peace. one. Peace. Hopefully the eSIM setup won't suck. All right, we're gonna wrap up this unboxing because I don't know if we're allowed to be in this area. <laughs> oh, ah, my old iPhone, but good thing I just got a new one. Shout out to this store. We're using their little area. Ooh, another video I can film right now. Drop test. I'll put it back together later. Once again, shout out to this store. Mmm. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right, it's the next day and I haven't gotten a chance to transfer everything from my old iPhone to my new one. So I'm using obsolete technology right now. Ugh. Let's quickly set it up and see if the eSIM process is as easy as Apple made it seem to be. Set up new iPhone, set up new iPhone. All right, we're at the eSIM setup. In the past, I'll just pop the old SIM card from the old iPhone and put it in the new one. Let's see how this does. Confirm transfer. A little bit longer than just taking out the SIM card and putting it into a new iPhone. But at least I don't have to do anything. Okay, it's done.
Jared told me yesterday that when he set up his eSIM and asked for a social security number and it didn't ask me, so I had an easier setup process than him. Nice. But yeah, that wasn't bad at all. But I'm not the type of person to constantly swap SIM cards or go to different countries, so your experience may vary. I'll finish setting it up and then we can explore the dynamic Island. Also, this is my old MagSafe wallet. I got the new one because, yeah, I want everything to feel fresh. Let's open it up. Night and day difference. I just gotta order another one of these ring things and get out all my current cards. Oh no, accidental flex. Ah, yes, inserted. Coming soon. Good thing I'm not an outdoorsy person. All right, new iPhone is all set up. Wow, look at the stark difference between the two. And as promised, let's take a look at the dynamic island. Wow, amazing! That's all you get, you have to buy the phone yourself now. Oh my god, always on display too! Yay! Turn that off. And there's an update already to patch day one bugs! No! I already told the Apple Store employee multiple times, no Apple Care! And that concludes my brand new iPhone experience. But what about this brand new iPhone that I didn't open yet? Well, I bought it for a friend, so we're gonna give it to him right now! iPhone. Wow, iPhone. Alright, if you don't remember Jordan, you probably remember that I got him the iPhone 8 a few years ago. Go check out that video. Let's take a look at the condition of that iPhone 8 now. Wow, look at that. He kept it immaculate. Still turns on, that's the important part. I already told him about it, so it's no surprise. He's been working hard and it's recently been his birthday, so this is your new iPhone. Wow, this is so cool, King. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. Let's set it up. All right. So you're gonna treat it as well as this iPhone? Nope. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Ooh, ah. Whoa! What do you think? It's really awesome. I really like it a lot. Super cool. Look at that upgrade. So, do you like the black color or do you not regret going for the purple? <laughs> I like the black one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Heal. Wow. And then it doesn't come with a charging brick, so you have to provide your own. <laughs> Sounds good. Power it up. Yes, hail the corporation. Yes. There it is. Your first glance at it. And then yeah, you can quick start it if you unlock this iPhone and... Okay, so one thing about his old iPhone, his camera's messed up as you can see, it's just randomly vibrating. So hopefully this works. You can hear it too. If you bang it against something, it'll actually stop shooting. Yeah, let's see if it'll... Okay, it works like that, yes! Cool. And then yeah, enter your passcode and we'll look. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, once again, it's a decent upgrade. All right, now we're at the eSIM setup. It was easy on mine. Let's see if it's easy on this too. Transfer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not as easy. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay, we're gonna set up the rest first and then try to contact Verizon. Yeah, move your head in a circle, spin it so you like fill up the whole thing. Face ID set up. Yeah, I have no idea. This is like the first time I've ever had like a new iPhone. <laughs> like ever. Ah, <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Look at that camera upgrade. <laughs> Quite the upgrade. And we wait. Transfer completed. Swipe up to upgrade. What do you think about that dynamic island? It's pretty awesome, to be honest. You like the shape of it? I do. <laughs> nice. Whoa. Wow. Finished setting up cellular. Let's see if it works this time. This number can't be transferred because the feature is not supported by your carrier. Well, I have the same carrier and it worked flawlessly on mine. Other options. Oh, it's oh, 16 and later. Uh, all right, we signed it to his Verizon account and we can activate your device with an eSIM. Activate an existing line. Okay, I-M-E-I. Where's the I-M-E-I? Okay, and it's gonna text your current phone. There it is. Okay, you're switching to a 5G device. Follow these steps to activate eSIM. Okay, Verizon would like to activate an eSIM on this device. We're on the right track. Activating. Looks promising. 
Man, thanks again, King. You have no idea. <laughs> uh -huh. I've been really looking forward to this. No problem. Everyone looks forward to iPhone Day. Change to connecting to network. So yeah, that's good. Okay. Whoa. Active on this device. All right. We're installing the day one patch. All right. Looks like it's done. All right. Everything looks good. Would you say so? Yeah, I would say this is pretty awesome, guys. I would say this is very classic. I'm glad um, I got this iPhone 14. Super happy about it. So I just want to give a shout out to King and say thank you. Uh-huh. So that leaves us with one more thing. Can you say, wow, iPhone? Wow, iPhone. Wow, iPhone. Yeah. All right, that was slightly harder to set up, but at least we didn't have to call anyone or go to the Verizon store. So yeah, still not too bad. Not the best, but not too bad. Whoa! I'm exhausted from all that generosity! And so of that, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later till the next iPhone! Bye!